CPAC's annual conference kicks off this week, but it's not going to be the same this year because so many of the Republican Party's biggest stars are conspicuously absent from this year's event. But as you're going to soon find out, for very good reason. NBC News reports many of the Republican Party's marquee players, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former Vice President Mike Pence, and the top GOP leaders in Congress will skip this week's conservative political action conference in Maryland, dealing a significant blow to the annual gathering's stature. Now, another major player in conservative politics, if not the biggest player in all of conservative politics, Fox News, is also boycotting this year's CPAC. As Mediaite explains, Fox has sponsored the conference every year since 2019, and in 2021, Fox's streaming platform, Fox Nation, which has in the past provided wall-to-wall coverage of the event, contributed $250,000 to CPAC. This year, Fox will not be sponsoring the event. Fox staffers told The Daily Beast they're not sure what the network's coverage of the event will look like. So you're probably wondering what's going on. Well, this might have something to do with it. The chairman of CPAC, Matt Schlapp, has been accused of groping a campaign aide for Herschel Walker. And this same unnamed campaign aide is alleging that the Schlapps defamed his character in a coordinated conspiracy to discredit his allegations. Mediaite explains the Daily Beast was the first to report on the accusations against Schlapp, who allegedly fondled the staffer's genitals as he drove Schlapp to a hotel. Matt Schlapp of CPAC grabbed my junk and pummeled it at length, the staffer said in a contemporaneous video he took of himself on the night of the alleged assault. Now, Matt Schlapp is denying the allegations, although the unnamed staffer also has contemporaneous text messages that he sent to friends on the night of the alleged assault, where he tells his friends that Matt Schlapp of CPAC was pissed that he didn't follow him back to his hotel room. So that right there is why so many conservatives don't want to go to CPAC, because they don't want to be associated with any of that. Trump, however, he's never let allegations of sexual predation affect who he's friends with, and he will indeed be speaking at CPAC. But this isn't surprising. One speaker, however, in theory, who should surprise conservatives, is libs of TikTok's Chaya Raichik. This is an individual who has made a career for herself going after groomers, and by groomers, I mean any and all LGBTQ plus people. But, I mean, she's constantly put groomers and predators on blast on her platform. So, I mean, you would think that if she were to be invited to CPAC, especially given what we now know about Matt Schlapp, she would turn down that invitation like that. But, Turns out her aversion to groomers and predators isn't that strong after all, because she will indeed be speaking at this year's CPAC. (laughs) That's right. The anti-groomer lady is a confirmed speaker to an event whose chair is an alleged sexual predator. And given that she's a stochastic terrorist whose lies led to bomb threats against Boston Children's Hospital, she'll fit right in, as this Twitter user put it. Now, in the same week that she'll be speaking at CPAC, she went on Fox News and accused LGBTQ plus people once again again, of being groomers, and she called a book for gay teenagers porn. A main sixth grader and his dad calling out their school board after the young student found a profane and explicit book in the school library. The 11 year old confronting the school board last week saying, quote, when I rented it out to show my dad the book, the librarian asked if I wanted more and if I wanted a graphic novel version. It's the exact issue our next guest exposes on her anti-woke social media account, Libs of TikTok. Creator Haya uh, Rachik is here with us this morning. Haya, thank you so much for being here. First of all, I just want to say thank you for what you do with Libs of TikTok. Uh, it's had a profound impact on exposing the things the left is trying to push on our youngest of kids. This being a, a, just the latest example. Well, thank you. It's great to be here. Um, Every single day in America, our children are under attack, specifically in the school system. And that's what I seek to expose every single day. Yeah, this 11-year-old little boy, he was interviewed on Fox and Friends first. And um, he said he went up to the library and he checked out this book. And he was curious about it because it was a picture of two men in bed together on the, you know, on the cover. And he gave it to the librarian and she was wearing a mask and she he said I could tell she was so excited that I was giving her this book and she said I have more of these I have the graphic novel that I can give you and he said no I'm actually taking this home to my dad and she, he said you could see her face just got completely red and she was nervous and now he's speaking out to the school board yeah so the issue of pornography in schools is something I've been discussing for ever since I started my account and the pornography in schools. Pornography I mean, in just schools. Just that phrase Not alone. something I ever thought right. I'd say. 
And, and, and like you said, they're so excited. Like, it just makes you wonder, why do these far-left activists in our schools want kids to read porn so badly? Like, it's so creepy. Yeah. So a book depicting a gay relationship in a completely harmless, age-appropriate manner is creepy. In fact, it's tantamount to pornography. But a wealthy conservative man allegedly using his position of power to coerce a straight man into gay sex, well, that's totally fine. In fact, catch my speech at his event later this week. I love how the host also thanked her at the beginning of the interview as if spreading lies that lead to bomb threats against children's hospitals is some noble pursuit. I mean, what else is there to say about this? The right is perfectly fine with groomers and sexual predators so long as they're on Team Red and they provide you with a platform that will further your grift. And as hyper-hypocritical as conservatives usually are, I can't say the same about other individuals who hate LGBTQ plus people, namely Ron DeSantis, Mike Pence. They probably hate gay people more than Chaya Raichik, but yet they still acknowledge that the optics here are just bad. And if you're trying to pretend to care about groomers and you have this aversion to sexual predators, speaking at the event chaired by an alleged groper might not be the best look. But she's speaking there. And this is uh, Matt Schlapp trying to legitimize somebody who is a stochastic terrorist. But I mean, if you're an alleged sexual assaulter, your morality is probably off, to say the least. But maybe all of the people who follow Chaya Raichek, who also purport to be concerned about groomers and predators, maybe they should ask her why she'd want to be associated with an event whose chair is an alleged predator. You know, if this event actually cared about sexual predators and groomers, wouldn't they oust him from the organization? At least temporarily? Of course not, because nobody on the right is consistent. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralists, woke moralists, woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. way. Genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.